low risk of developing a cardiovascular event in the next five years. Mm -hmm. of screenshots in exactly three screen clicks of the mouse, I will tell you your cardiovascular risk. So this is just a few screenshots here. This is the first page, this is the second page, this is the third page, and this is what it will tell you. But it won't be so mild, depending. Okay. And our next final demonstration that is on what is your risk of developing a cardiovascular event in the next five years. So this is a program which I created using the drive units from the American Heart Association and you'll find that it's very easy to use. So first you open, you'll get this page here, you click on the link here which says click here to start the risk assessment. So this is something which I'll be doing on you also. Let's say you are maybe 40 to 49 years of age before your code here is D. Let's say you are a diabetic, so DY. And let's say you're also a smoker, so your code is DYS. So we click on DYS. Now that brings it to the next page, and let's say you've been sitting in front of your computer 18 hours a day, and therefore your blood pressure is very high, it's 108 by 105 millimeters of mercury, 180 by 105 millimeters of mercury, and your cholesterol is also very, very high because you're eating junk food. So 180 by 105, and cholesterol 8, you click here, and you find that your risk of an event in the next five years is 15 to 20 percent, which is very high. So let's try one more risk assessment since you got scared. Let's say you are 50 to 59 years of age, so you're C, you are non diabetic N, and you're a non smoker T, C and T. So we click here C and T. Let's say your blood pressure is rather reasonably well maintained, it's about 1.85 degrees of mercury, and your cholesterol HDL is 4. So 140 by 85 and cholesterol level is 4. We click here and you find that your risk of an cardiovascular event is 2.5%, which is rather mild. So, this is a very useful system which I've used on my patients and my students, and they found it very useful. I've created this program using scripts, active risk controls, uh, bookmark samplings, and this has been rendered in a single file on the web page. <laughs>